Hey, what's up, Productivity Junkies? Darren Persinger here. Today, guys, I wanted to share with you a little bit about collaboration versus competition. And I think this is a great time to share this stuff with you right now because we have this awesome event going on, Web5 Live, with uh, Drew Burks, Jonathan Rivera, uh, Chris Smith from Tech Savvy Agent, and myself. And I know a lot of people would view the four of us kind of in the same space, competing for the same, the same clientele. But really, because we're getting to collaborate, we're not competing with each other, it's, it's helping us, which is in turn helping you. So I really wanna sell you today on the idea of collaboration versus competition and how you could do something like what the four of us are doing with Web5 Live with your own real estate business. Now, now what I need you to do here though, is take a little bit of your doubts, your limiting beliefs, whatever you're coming into this productivity nugget with already, take it and set it on the shelf because what I'm gonna be sharing with you is probably not your perspective on how you look at competition right now, how you look at your business, that you're looking at it as all competition, right? So I need you to suspend those ideas for a moment and just open up your mind and let me walk you through a couple things, okay? So now that you've done that, let's, let's look at how collaboration can help your business in 2011. First, keep in mind that in the real estate industry, we are all about collaboration. You know, the, the MLS is a total collaboration tool, right? We're putting our content there, we're sharing it with, with each other so that we can better serve our clients, so that our sellers can get more exposure, so that our buyers have access to more property. So you're already collaborating with each other, whether you recognize that or not. The MLS is a huge collaboration tool. A couple ideas now that I wanna share with you on the macro level, on an idea, again, these are just ideas. I want you to really open up your mind and think about how you can implement collaboration going forward. But just one quick idea for you, for macro level, of collaboration. Get together with some other people that are doing REOs around the country and start an REO blog. Find four or five people that you really respect on Facebook or Twitter, on Active Rain or whatever, they're crushing it in REOs and invite them to be a part of an REO blog that you'll all share content to now. And then when a buyer shows up, depending upon what marketplace they need to go to, boom, you've captured them, but now you're not carrying the burden of having to create all that content yourself. And you're getting to collaborate and learn from some really powerful minds around the rest of the country. So start an REO blog with some other people around the country, okay? On a micro level, now this one might blow your mind a little bit, but here's what I wanna to suggest to you. Maybe start a blog about promoting all upcoming open houses. Find four to five agents, not even agents in your own office. Maybe start with that, if that's the only thing you feel comfortable with, but go to your competition, the four or five agents that you really respect in your marketplace, and say, hey, you know what, I think if we promoted our listings and our open houses together on a single site, this might work better for us, that we might be able to get traffic there. Now, of course, you're gonna to have to run this through your brokers and they're probably gonna be like, what? What, what what are you talking about? Why are you trying to help your competition get found? But I wanna just share these ideas with you to open up your mind and kind of shift your perspective a little bit on how collaboration versus competition can really help your business moving forward in 2011.